Hi, I'm Suzanne and I work with SEAI. In this video, we're going to be talking about batteries. When we want to store electrical energy for using later, we use batteries. So a battery is made up of two metals and an acid. When we connect all these things together, we can use this stored chemical energy to convert it to electrical energy, which can then be converted to light energy when we pass it through a light bulb. To do this, I'm going to take three potatoes and I'm going to use two different metals, copper and zinc. So I've made little cuts in the potatoes and I'm going to pop them into each of them. Now, so we have our two metals and where do you think we get the acid from? So the potato is now a battery and what's going to happen is that the acid in the potato is going to react with our metals and that's going to create electrical energy. We can then use these um, wires to create a circuit. So what I'm going to do is connect the zinc to the copper and one to the other. And then the zinc to the copper on the other one. And then the last two are going to connect to our light bulb. So we can leave them. And we've got to connect to our little light bulb. And as you can see, that's created, converted the electrical energy from our batteries into light energy and we've actually lit the light bulb. So if you look really carefully, you can see that the bulb has lit up and this is from the chemical energy in the potato, which has been converted through our circuit into electrical energy and then converted to light energy into our light bulb, which is pretty cool. Obviously, we don't use potatoes to power our homes and schools. Do you know what we do use? Have a class discussion about where we get our energy from and can you think of any smart ways that we can save our energy?